My 36 female fiance 36 male is accusing me of faking a pregnancy. For the sake of this post, I'll be referring to my ex fiance as M. We both had pretty bad endings to our previous relationship, so we decided to take things slow. We dated for three years before we moved into our apartment together and then lived here for another two years before he proposed. We loved each other. Kitchen dancing, so much laughter. We adopted two pups. We both loved our jobs and we were dedicated to them and financially secure. We discussed having a baby and decided that we should wait until we purchase a home and get married. Somehow, that's not what was meant to be and I ended up pregnant within weeks. Nervousness slowly turned into excitement. He held my hair while I was throwing up. He came to every single appointment, ultrasound, saw and felt her move around. We already loved her so damn much, had her nursery ready and had her name already picked out. Just over the moon. I drive for a living. I move cars from dealership to dealership, auction to auction, do customer drop-offs, etc. I was called into work and decided we needed the extra pay and hours to help with maternity leave and went in. I was over halfway done with my shift when I was t-boned by a drunk driver. He took everything from me. He took my daughter and he took the love my fiancé and I had for one another away. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't get out of bed. I hated the world. My fiancé who was caring at first became distant which is to be expected because he lost her too. Yet now he accuses me of cheating. I never did. Of lying about the pregnancy. We went to every appointment. If I even remotely bring her up, he gets violent and locks me outside with no keys, wallet, and like right now, no jacket. It's cold. I'm tired. I miss what my life used to be. He's refusing therapy and I'm not sure what else to do. Do I leave? Do I continue to get him to open up and risk my safety? Or do I just act like our daughter never existed? She does have a little small update. For everyone that gave me the warning of leaving, as much as I still don't want to, it's for the best. I was left out of the house at 5am after 8 long hours in the cold. He was blackout drunk and still angry. I made the mistake of grabbing the bottles and pouring it down the drain and pay the consequences. The man I loved is gone. The person that replaced him is a monster. I'm currently waiting in the emergency room to be checked out for a head injury and some scratches on my neck. This was not him. This is not his true colors. Grief just took him away and replaced him with someone that I don't know and never want to know. Any of you experience any loss, please do not let it take you away from your loved ones. Seek therapy, cry, get it out. Don't let it replace you. I sold his PlayStation for about $2. I put his in air quotes because we don't agree on whose PlayStation it was. I bought the PlayStation before we started dating. I only played Minecraft and Crash Bandicoot and so on. I wasn't using it that often and wasn't really attached to it. He, however, loved that PlayStation and couldn't stop playing Fallout and Elder Something and God of War for hours at a time. It really killed my soul because I had to do everything and I had to get up several times at night to ask him to come to bed. We decided we needed to start walking in the afternoon. We needed exercise. But whenever I got ready and went for a walk, he would back out and stay home to play games instead. I was getting really annoyed. One Saturday morning, I decided to walk to the nearby shop to get bananas. I invited him to come and he said no again, so I left. When I got home, he was annoyed that I didn't get him chips. This just set me off and I lost it. We had a huge fight. I complained that he doesn't work, pay for anything, or do chores, and then he reminded me that I owed him $2 for when I was short buying groceries for the house. It ended with him leaving to his mom after breaking up with me for being too naggy. He lived with me at the time. I was actually happy. In the week that he was gone, the work around the house was in half. The water and electricity bill was so much less, and I even had time to chill and do fun things. After a week, he wanted to talk and he told me he was giving me a chance to apologize if I wanted him to come back. I said no. I thought about it and decided we are better separated. He wasn't happy and said he wanted his $2 back, which I sent through post, lol. He contacted me again and asked when he can get his PlayStation. I said, I sold it for $2 to pay you back and he lost it, saying I had no right to sell his PlayStation. I reminded him I bought it long before I met him, but apparently since I wasn't using it and he was the only one using it, it means it's his. The only reason why I wasn't using it was because I was doing all of the chores and never had time, and when I did have time, he didn't want to give me a turn. I didn't actually sell it. I just told him I did, but his mom contacted me, and apparently he is really taking it bad. He has hours of saved games on it, and it's a whole story now. So am I the asshole? Should I come clean and just give it to him? I, 26 male, discovered my 30 female fiance has an 8 year old daughter. We fell in love traveling the world and building a successful online business together all while she kept her daughter hidden from me. We have made some incredible memories together and she has always been ultimately supportive, loyal, and trustworthy. About one and a half years into the relationship, she introduced me to a little girl as her little cousin. The girl would spend time with us here and there when back home and I thought nothing of it. We continued to travel the world together, 10 plus countries per year and I proposed to her in Europe. We have now been together for over 3 years, wedding date is still not planned. Recently I was going through her phone which isn't usual as we worked together and my phone was dead. 
I stumbled upon a conversation discussing her daughter, which led me to confront her about the situation where she came clean and admitted her cousin was in fact her daughter and she has been full-time living with her baby dad since we've been together. Wait! What the fudge? Where she lives with the baby daddy and they're- <gasps> I was completely shocked, confused, angry, sad, among many other feelings. Her daughter was instructed to lie about who she was to me and that continues to tear me apart. Within a few hours of the discovery, I came to reason with it and was supportive of my partner and she was clearly very emotional. Now, months later, our lives have changed immensely. No more adventurous traveling. Her daughter is out of the closet, so to speak, and she stays with us five days a week. But now my partner's attention towards the business and our relationship has just been generally divided. What pains me the most is my relationship with her daughter isn't what I would want it to be. We are far more casual with each other than I would like it to be as a father figure. This has led to her daughter not listening to me and really seems to just not like me, which I hate but at the same time understand as she might see me as someone who just stole her mom. I have no idea how to be a father. I never had one and I wasn't planning on learning how to be one jumping in mid-game. I now no longer know how to proceed in this relationship. I love my partner but everything in our lives have totally changed. Life plans, ambitions, aspirations, activities, lifestyle, just frankly, everything has changed. I don't want to take this mother from her daughter. I don't want to be an unwelcome stepfather. I want her daughter to be happy and my partner to be happy. But I also want the woman I fell in love with back in the life we had together. Do you think this relationship can work? Am I wrong for walking out of a wedding I was a part of and ruining the day? Also, shout out to you guys for checking in on me the past few days. I was on a cruise and having so much fun with my besties. So I dated my ex-boyfriend John for four years and got serious enough where we started planning for our future. Wedding, kids, everything. I thought I was pretty happy, but last year he dumped me pretty suddenly. I tried to figure out what went wrong, but he said it was personal and I should respect his space. During this time, my best friend Stacy and her fiancé Tom were my rocks, letting me crash at their place and overwhelmingly supportive. So when Stacy asked me to be her maid of honor, I thought it was a no-brainer and happily took on the task. Well, fast forward to what happened this weekend, the morning of the wedding. Tom asked me to meet him for breakfast super early in the morning. I thought it was weird, but assumed he maybe wanted me to pass something on to Stacy. Instead, he told me that Stacy admitted she had an affair with John. Am I wrong for walking out of a wedding that I was a part of and ruining the day? Stacy admitted that she had an affair with John, my ex-boyfriend, that led up to my breakup. He said she wanted to come clean to start their marriage fresh and that he was forgiving her moving forward. I guess he expected me to do the same, but I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I did the opposite and walked out. It ended up causing a huge mess because I was basically running the show and not only that, everyone realized I wasn't there. And as a result, news of the affair eventually got out because her cousin knew John. Now Stacy and Tom have been slandering me online saying I ruined their once in a lifetime moment. Some of their friends are on their side saying that I should have handled the situation more privately and at least stuck out the wedding. I personally don't know what Tom expected, but either way, I've been getting bombarded with texts and heard stacy has been so upset, she had to take time off of work. That does make me feel pretty bad, especially because I've been ignoring her calls. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for how I, 37 male, reacted to my son, 17 male, coming out to me? It's been pointed out that my title wording makes the post seem way worse than it is, and I do apologize for that as it wasn't my intention. But I've always known my son had an interest in men. He was slow on the pickup of incognito mode and from the searches he made, I figured at least he was bicurious. If that's the proper term for it since he hit puberty. Well, last year he started bringing a boy around and it was so obvious they were dating to the point that I figured he knew that I knew and it wasn't a big deal to anyone. Well, apparently I was definitely wrong. After school yesterday, he and his boyfriend came up to me and said there was something really important they needed to tell me. That's when he told me they're dating and had been for a year, but I was just really thrown off that he didn't know I knew. Well, my mouth moved faster than my brain and that's when I said, well, that's really freaking gay. Am I wrong for how I, 37 male, reacted to my son, 17 male, coming out to me? That's when he told me he'd been dating his boyfriend for the past year and I was just honestly shocked he didn't know I already knew. Because like I said, it was just really obvious. That's when my mouth moved faster than my brain and I ended up saying, well, that's pretty freaking gay.
Now listen, I thought it was peak comedy since it is in fact gay. However, I do understand using the word gay in that way does give it a negative undertone. Hence the mouth faster than the brain comment. But me and my son are usually pretty edgy with our humor and this was fairly tame from the stuff we do joke about. With that being said, he and his boyfriend were still very, very upset and actually left. I probably am the asshole, but I thought I would check and see if you guys had some advice as to what I could say to fix it. He currently won't respond to my texts or calls. Am I wrong for uninviting my aunt for my wedding over her daughter's dress? I, 28 female, got engaged to my fiancé, 27 female, some time ago. It was a beautiful proposal and everyone was happy for us. Our wedding is in around two months and my aunt, 42, has started shopping for her daughter's 15th dress a while ago. Our wedding is going to be a lilac white theme, so when she asked what color would be best, I told her that lilac would be nice. So, three weeks ago, she sent me a few dresses they picked out. They were all beautiful but white. I told her that I liked them, but I didn't like the fact that they were white. She asked me if I could make an exception since her daughter, let's call her Macy, is family. I apologized and said I'd be happier if she picked a different color. My aunt just said, well, she doesn't like purple. So I told her that the dress didn't have to be purple if she didn't like it and that I just thought it would be nice. Obviously, not everyone is going to be in theme and I'm not going to force anyone because I don't want them to feel uncomfortable because of the color of their clothes. She called me telling me that I'm selfish for not letting Macy wear that dress and apparently I'm slut shaming her because it's a little revealing. I never said anything about that, neither did I think the dress was even revealing. Like I said, as long as they're comfortable. She hung up on me and later asked me to go out for coffee and talk about it. She apologized and said that she just didn't feel like it was fair that since me and my fiancé will both be wearing white, it's already untraditional and there's nothing wrong with another woman wearing a white dress. Apparently, Macy cried when she found out I didn't approve of it. Um... Well, that's like so dumb because there's time when the bride wears white and the groom wears white. Just the main couple wears white. That's it. It's not just the bride. I asked her what she meant by untraditional and she went on to explain that a woman marrying a woman is not very common or morally right. And also how it's unfair that I let my younger sibling, 13, wear a suit instead of a nice dress. I said I have to go and left. I also thought it was weird that Macy was mad about the dress and texted her to apologize if I upset her. She was confused and said she had no problem wearing a different dress and actually refused to choose from the white dresses her mom picked out. She sent me a screenshot of a cute baby pink dress that she found and wanted to send it to me before her mom took her shopping. And I told her I'd buy it for her. She thanked me and apologized for her mom. I told her not to worry about it. I called my aunt to tell her that I no longer wanted her at my wedding and that Macy is still invited. She cried and screamed, how dare I uninvite her and it's unfair that Macy still gets to go. My mom told me that I made a good decision and she has no problem taking Macy to the wedding with her. My fiance also says I did the right thing, but my aunt's husband and her friends called me an asshole because it's just a dress and she's from a different time so I can't blame her for what she said. So am I the asshole?